And hello again, everyone. Bison Nation, we're fired up. We got a game on the road in Missouri Valley Football Conference play. Welcome to our game day preview of the Indiana State Sycamores. Jeff Colhane, Jeremy Jorgensen took care of business last week versus Missouri State, but now we hit the road and take on a Sycamore team that hasn't been home since August the 31st. They're ready to be back home as well. And this Bison program is so good on the road. Only two road losses uh, since the start of 2011. That's an amazing stat. Probably one of the best stats during this entire championship run over the last six plus years. Amazing. These guys are really good on the road. Yeah, locked in, no doubt. I can say a uh, business-like mentality on the road for Chris Kleiman and the Bison. Here's Nick DeLuca and Easton Stick talking about that road warrior mentality. To be successful in this conference, you have to win on the road, and, and it's really hard to do. It, it's hard. You know, each place provides a, a little bit different environment and atmosphere, and so um, it's tough to go out, go out there and win, but coaches do a good job preparing us throughout the week and, and helping us understand uh, what we need to do to be successful on Saturday. I think just the focus. All the guys, I think uh, we, all, we do say it's a business trip, and uh, the focus is always on point. Now all the guys, are they take everything really seriously when we go on the road, and uh, I think it's, it's proven itself. Let's talk Indiana State. The Sycamores 0-4, 0-1 in the Valley, off to their first 0-4 start since 2009, but a team... That's played some uh, good squads close here early in the season, Jorgie. And this team is pretty good defensively. They stop the run. Their front seven's pretty good. This is a defensive-minded staff. I think you have to take that part of their game uh, serious. And they do have a couple of nice skill guys on offense as well. Yeah, there's no doubt. Stopping the run, uh, a team that's at right around 102 yards per game defensively. That's 23rd best in all of FCS college football. Here's Easton Stick and R.J. Erzendowski talking about the challenge with the Sycamores. We definitely got to get off to a, uh, a fast start. You know, if, if you can kind of take the life out of teams early, that definitely helps. But if you get them, if they get some big plays early, some big stops on defense, things like that, some big plays on offense, and uh, they start building their confidence and things like that. And uh, you know, we need to have fast starts so we can kind of shut that down early. It's big. Anytime we can start fast, and you've seen it the last couple weeks where we're able to go out, you know, the first couple drives and move the football and get points, and that's huge. Uh, you know, it takes a little pressure off the defense and allows them to play play a little more free. So it's NDSU, Indiana State at Memorial Stadium in Terre Haute, Indiana. And Jeremy, a lot of ways to follow, a lot of ways to watch. Yeah, Indiana State does not have their own TV production, so we're taking our TV production, feeding ESPN3. It's the NBC North Dakota feed for all you folks that want to watch this game. ESPN College Extra as well, so we have a nice setup, almost a home setup on the road, if you will. Yeah, it's going to be very fun on the radio side. Of course, statewide coverage, the Peterson Farm Seed, Bison Radio Network. Network coverage starts at 11.30 a.m. Central Time. Kick is at noon. Locally here in Fargo-Moorhead, we start at 8.30 a.m. on Saturday morning with the Bison Tailgate Show on Bison 1660 and 92.7 FM and also on the apps, uh, the Bison 1660 app on your mobile device. And if you want to talk more Bison sports, more Bison football, you can listen to us, Jeremy and Jeff, on the Insiders on Bison 1660 and 92.7 FM from 11 to 1 each and every day, Monday through Friday during the week. That'll do it for us. That's our game day preview of Indiana State. He's Jeremy. I'm Jeff. Big thanks to Rich Grossman as well. And we'll uh, look forward to a great matchup coming up on Saturday in Terre Haute.